Hello everybody, Prowl here and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial and today we are going over a way that you can AFK kill any mob you want to for the most part as long as you can fit them in a 2x2 tube it'll automatically kill them for you and it is a trident killer of course and I got a new design that I came up with here that is ultra fast, ultra easy to make and you guys are going to love it. Um, I want to give uh, credit to Silent Whisperer here because I was inspired by his design. I start, I saw some things that he did with his in terms of moving the XP and the drops and decided to take that route. So go visit his video. I'll link it in the, in the description down below. And let's go ahead and jump into it. For the non-spider version, you're going to need 64 plus 16 of any building block, 9 glass, 1 slab, 4 pistons, 9 powered rails, 4 redstone dust, 4 observers, 3 hoppers, one trap door, four ice, one water source, two chests, and one lever. And for the version that will do cave spiders and regular spiders, you'll need 64 plus 12 of any building block. You need eight glass, eight powered rails, four redstone dust, four observers, three hoppers, four pistons, a repeater, a half slab, a lever, two chests, a wall of any type, and eight campfires. So here we have two different designs here, ever so slightly different. Um, this one right here you'll use for any mobs that do not have spiders included in them. So everything but spiders. This one over here will work for spiders as well. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to crank this thing on really quick. We do have a bunch of tridents down in the hole. The way these things work is you throw the tridents down in a hole. I put about four in there. I think is a good number. It allows the mobs to get hit a little bit more frequently. Um, I have this to spawn my mobs in. We're going to use zombie pigment, and we're going to spawn them in pretty fast. We're going to flick this lever to turn this guy on. We're going to hit this to spawn the mobs in. And as you see, they come in mighty fast. And if we stand right here, um, you will see that all of the experience points will come down to us, and all of the drops will go in the hoppers down there. Uh, this particular farm works because the pistons are pushing the items around as well as the mobs. So the items are getting pushed into this hole that is right there. And the experience points automatically try to flow to us and they come this way as well. And the water helps move everything along. As you can see, this thing can keep up with this no problem. It looks like there's a lot in there, but I promise you there is not. Once we turn it off, they are all gone very quickly. And every once in a while, you will see for a short period of time, the mobs, uh, some babies get stuck right here against the corner. No worries, they will die in the near future. They don't hang around there for too long. Also, we have the spider version of this, and this will work for both regular spiders and cave spiders. Uh, cave spiders are usually the most annoying, so we'll go ahead and we'll just change the summon command to do the cave spiders. Um, and then here, we have a repeater included in mostly for regular spiders because if it goes if the system goes too fast they do get stuck on top of the pistons if you're only using this for cave spiders you can take this out and just run redstone dust across and as you can see we will turn this guy on we will flip this on to spawn our cave spiders in they're coming in nice and fast we can sit here and we can start gathering our xp and our drops it is quite that easy and if i fly above you can see they are dying, so let's go ahead and jump into how to make this now. All right, so to get this started out, we're going to go up one, two, three blocks, and we're going to make a small two by two platform. Uh, we are going to position ourselves four pistons facing inwards, just like this, and they're going to be alternating where they go. So you see they are all in four different positions, just like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to carve out or, or trace this around like this. Don't worry, we're going to punch out some holes for this in just a moment. But for now, just go ahead and trace yourself around like so. And then we need to go ahead and fill in around here with blocks just like this. And then we need to go ahead and carve out those this corner here. Place an observer facing in this direction. Corner, face observer there, corner, face observer there, and corner, face and observer there. We're going to end up changing this in just a moment depending on where you put the, the hole that you're going to be operating out of. Uh, but you can go ahead and you can place rails here, 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 
And then let me grab a lever really quick because once I put in this last one, this is going to start going off and it's going to stay on until we power it. And we'll go ahead and stow the lever right here for now. And all right, let's do it right here for now and then here. So you see what this has done is created a infinite loop where this observer sees this rail, it sends power to here, this powers this piston, this powers this rail, which this observer sees, and so on and so forth. If we go through and permanently power one, it shuts the system off just like that. Super duper easy. Taking a quick break away from that video, I want to ask you guys a huge favor. Click that subscribe button on the channel. I put out a ton of Bedrock Edition tutorials, so make sure you subscribe. That way you can get all of those in your notification bar. I also have a good survival multiplayer series as well you should probably check out. Click that like button on this video. That helps the video get seen by a lot more people. And drop me a comment down below. And then this side right here is going to be the side that we are going to modify to be able to... Uh, AFK at and have our drops come out of so what we're going to do is we are going to knock that block out right there And then we are going to knock this block out right here as well um, Now we don't have a way for this to connect over so we actually need to create that So what we're going to do is we're going to knock this out knock this out go here with that Go there with that and then now that this is connected over here What we can do is we can knock these guys out like this we can run redstone dust here, here. Right, we're going to want to put a piece of glass right there and a solid block right there. So what's going to be happening is that this signal is now going to come up through here. It's going to go over top of this glass. It's not going to power this, which is going to be important for you to know here in just a moment. But it does power this block right here, which will set off our rail. You will want to keep the rail there because the rail updates faster than the redstone dust does. It makes the whole system run faster. Um, your trap door, you go ahead and put that right here, just like that. This is why we are using a piece of glass there, because if we use a solid block, it's going to make this trap door do that every single time around, and that is rather annoying and could potentially slow down some things with your farm or cause problems. Now, we need to create our area where our drops are going to come out of, which is going to be quite easy. We're going to put two blocks right below this uh, piece of ice right here, and then we are going to place ourselves a... Let's grab a chest actually. Your, and then you can modify these chests in any way that you think you may need to to get as many drops as you want, add in item sorters and all of that sort. Place a hopper here, place a hopper here, place a third hopper right here just in case there's some type of an overflow. That'll catch your overflow, no problem. And then go ahead and grab your glass. I like to use glass because then we can see everything that's happening. Also, um, especially here at the very end, you want glass to at least be on this corner right here. That way the items can come through. Uh, but you will be drop uh, locking this thing up that way just in case. I haven't seen it happen, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Just in case somehow a baby gets pushed through here or maybe a cave spider or something gets in your system. You don't want them to be able to get you. So just go ahead and block it off. There's no reason not to. And then go ahead just to make sure that you get all of your XP. Uh, go ahead and throw yourself a slab right here just like that and then that should be minus our us need to get our lever back that should be the full system complete so you can see i could take this lever right here flick that and now it is in an infinite loop i can stand here and gather my xp just like i did over there it will all drop down because this piston right here is the items are getting knocked around but this piston will shoot the items down there so you don't need water flow in here the only place you need water flow is down in the tube to move the items we'll go ahead and knock that out real quick put that there we go so now any items that fall in they will flow this way this will also bring the experience to us and if we stand right here those experience points always try to track towards the player so if we stand right here uh, those experience points will flow right in over here just like this. Uh, if you stand on this side, you, technically they might be able to get stuck. I haven't done a lot of testing on this side, but you could get experience points stuck right in here where they're trying to get to you, but they're not quite making it into the tube. So stand towards the left side of it. You won't have any problems. Uh, now we're going to go over really quick the slight modifications that you make to make this spider spawner, the spider trident killer. That you're dropping the mobs here so you're going to have some type of tube that's going to be funneling the mobs down 
However, however you make that, that's going to be dependent on the farm that you have. But this is your tube that the mobs drop down into, whatever type of mobs they may be. But what we are going to do here is we are going to put solid blocks here because this is going to help make sure that mobs do not glitch through our system. If we get too many stored up in here, that is one thing that can happen. Mobs are able to, if you have too many of them packed in, they can glitch through solid blocks and especially transparent blocks. So if you put a uh, solid blocks all the way around, it will help. And then I'll recommend that you go ahead and double that up just like this. All the way around there. And then fill in in front of your rails as well. Whoops. That way, again, if somehow a mob glitches through, he will be stuck in there with those rails. He will not come out and kill you. So again, just another recommendation. Now to get this thing ready to be a spider one, what you're gonna need to do is pop a, actually don't do that yet. Put some, any blocks here first, just like this. Go ahead and put campfires on top of those. Now you can knock those blocks out and then put campfires again, there, 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 and there. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it is that these spiders do not like to uh, climb this, but they, they do not like to climb it. So go ahead and use the campfires for your spiders. A couple extra modifications and we're all done. We need to grab a wall. Again, any type of wall will be fine. I recommend do not use a fence. Do not use a fence gate. They are a little bit too thin to work properly. Go ahead and put the wall right there just like that. The drops and the XP can get through perfectly fine, but these spiders cannot drop down. And oops, and then also one last thing, don't you can't use regular ice, you have to use packed ice. I forgot to mention that in a material list earlier. I will try to remember to go ahead and throw in some sort of a reminder, but the packed ice will not melt whereas the regular ice does. So let's go ahead and throw that in there 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 and there perfect so that takes care of that you go ahead and flip this thing on and as you can see it is pulsing perfectly all the way around almost there we need to knock out this we need to knock out this and we need to add in our repeater and the repeater is just going to stay on one tick it is going to slow down this and knock this out too put that there Redstone, redstone, it is going to slow down this system just enough to where full-size spiders can actually fall down in this. If the system's going full speed like it is over there, your full-size spiders will get stuck on top of the pistons because they're going too fast. So this right here will do the trick. And then once you have that, again, you can just AFK right here. You'll get all the, X, all the drops will go into your chest and all the XP will come to you. All right, guys, and there we go. Trident killers are that simple. You can throw one up with minimal amount of supplies and really fast. And again, use these for all your different farms. Anything that can you can drop down a two by two tube. Guardians, it'll work. Ravagers, it'll work, etc. Um, go ahead and drop them down a tube, and this will work for you perfectly fine. I hope you guys have fun using this in your world, and you guys have a good one. Make sure you click like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Those things help out so greatly, so I would appreciate all of you guys if you did that. And make sure you leave me some comments as well. All right, guys, it has been great. Thank you very much, and you have a good one. Goodbye.